Hello, my name is Adam Smith, and it's my very great pleasure to be your guide to today's Nobel Prize Dialogue. And allow me to add my welcome to all of you gathered here so kindly together in our auditorium in Seoul. It's wonderful to see you here. Thank you for taking the time. And also to our online audience joining us from all over the world in all sorts of different time zones, welcome. Now, the Nobel Prize Dialogue, as you know, is a gathering of Nobel laureates, experts from Korea and other countries, and we bring them together in different groupings throughout the day to discuss many of the important aspects of the topic we're covering, the future of learning. And most of the conversations will be done in panel discussions. But to begin, we have two talks to set the scene. And the first of those, I'm delighted to say, is from Song Chul Shin, the former president of KAIST. Please join me in welcoming him. Thank you. Thank you for Adam Smith for kind introduction. Good morning, distinguished, distinguished uh, guests and students. It is indeed my great pleasure and honor to deliver an opening talk uh, with the title of Education Reform in the Era of uh, Great Digital Transformation. In the coming years, we will face unprecedented changes in the human society, mainly caused by three megatrends. First megatrend is hyperconnectivity. Now, more than half of the population in the world are connected by mobile phones or internet, and also there are more than 50 billion devices connected through IAT. So within 30 years, most of people and electronic devices in the world will be connected and communicate at the velocity of the light. Second mega trend is super intelligence, realized by a rapid progress of AI due to the deep learning algorithm together with advances in computer hardware, brain science, and big data. We human beings are so shocked by the fact that Google developed AI AlphaGo achieved landslide victories against the human champions. Last year, OpenAI has introduced ChatGPT, a conversational AI that can chat with a human being and also follow, answer follow-up questions. With such a rapid development of AI, as futurist lay culture file predicted, we might face a singularity point where AI surpasses in human intelligence. In the near future, AI robots, robot sapiens will be omnipresent everywhere. Here are just a few examples. Chatbot, AI guide robot, AI golfer. How are you? Well, too late. Is yeah. AI guide robot, AI golfer playing holding on, AI gymnast, wow. AI this? table tennis Yesterday, robot, AI robot chef, which can cook 5,000 menus. Now, now a serious question for you and me is what is the identity of a human being in the me mega trend of super intelligence? We human beings cannot compete with the robot sapiens regard to memory, information process and calculation, routine and repetitive work. So we human beings further cultivate irreplaceable merits of a human being, such as a creativity, empathy, insight, and wisdom and then homo sapiens symbi symbiosis with the robot sapiens. It's not moving well. Okay, a uh, third mega trend is meta convergence. New findings and inventions will be most awkward through interdisciplinary and cross-disciplinary approaches, in particular, NV convergence, sending for nano, bio, information, and cognitive science. Furthermore, we live in the society where the physical, cyber, and bi biological systems conjoined 
by sensing communication, computation, and control. So considering these mega trends, what kind of manpower should we foster in the coming years? My answer is to foster manpower effectively with three spirits. First, challenging spirit that copes with unsolved question and take away not been tried before. Second, creative spirit that can solve the problem with innovative ideas via critical and convergent thinking. Third, caring spirit with an attitude of inclusiveness and ethical responsibility. I like to call this kind of manpower as C-cube talent. To first the C-cube talent, I like to emphasize whole brain education with emphasizing strengthening basic science and engineering education for training your left brain associated with the scientific and mathematical skills and diversifying education of humanities, social science, art for training your right brain associated with the imagination, storytelling, and insight. In the higher education, first step to implement this whole brain education is to break down the thick barriers existed in department central system. This is a model which I implemented as a founding president of a university, a DGIST. For the first three years, students are educated to build a solid background in basic science and engineering with a diverse knowledge of humanity and social science. When students become senior, they take the customized education track depending on their future career paths. When I proposed this uh, system about 10 years ago, most of the educators in our country were very skeptical about this system. However, you know, this year, Korean government has adopted this non-department educational system as a national policy in the higher education. We should mention that we have to reform teaching and the learning methodology. I think branded education, adopting flipped learning class, composed of online video learning and offline discussion-based learning, is very effective to en enhance the challenging and creative spirit of our students. Professors' role in discussion class should be changed from one-way passive teaching to two-way interactive teaching by facilitating, moderating, and mentoring the discussions. Our students in 21st century are digital natives, so it is desirable to use e-textbooks installed in iPad or tablet PC, as demonstrated here, and compared to traditional paper textbooks, e-textbooks have many advantages, such as easy crossover from one textbook to another in cyberspace, and implementing 3D animated figures, continuous evolution by easy revision, interactive and ubiquitous learning. Last but not least, I'd like to emphasize the education for caring spirit. It is so important to realize the sustainable future of the global village. We all dream digital utopia. But we are now facing the dark side of the digital world, caused by digital disparity, cyber attacks, fake news, unethical application of AI, such as a killer robot. Also, we are facing many global issues we have to overcome, including climate crisis, infectious disease, nuclear weapon, people in extreme poverty, which might bring about chaotic dystopia in the future. So we have to put tremendous effort in ethical education for our students to equip caring spirit with the social responsibility and inclusive growth in the global village. So take home message for you. The mega trends of hyperconnectivity, super intelligence, and meta converges call for education reform to nurture talents equipped with a challenging, creative, caring spirit who will make a brighter future in the era of a great digital transformation. Thank you for your kind attention.